Okay, so I've got this cool little uh, pot that I made. It's basically a deep fryer. I bought it at Walmart. I put in a, uh, an end right here. Probably can't see it, but it's a ball joint that allows the wax. So this is my wax melter. It does great if I just want to do, you know, eight or ten pounds of, of uh, candles. So for today, we're just going to do a small batch. So if I can find my knife, um, I'm just going to add wax to it. I always fill it up. You know, because you never know. I don't, I don't like to run out, so I just keep it full. So we're using the uh, IGI 6006 uh, soy paraffin mix. And actually, to tell you the truth, you know, we, we use straight soy for, for a long time. And actually, I like this mix uh, better. It's still considered, you know, pure and soy, but, um, cause there, but there's not much paraffin. But what the paraffin, the little bit that's in there, what it does do for us is it allows the, uh, it allows our wax <clears throat> to hold the, hold the color better, um, throw the fragrance better. And so all in all, um, you know, I like it much better. So I know my customers will, they've already commented on how much better you know, the throw is, so. So basically I just chop these things up, you know, and I put it in here and just let it melt down. So I'm gonna put this stuff here away, turn this on just a little bit. So I'm just gonna let that warm up and uh, I'm going to go, I'll be right back, and we're going to start putting the wicks in the jars. Okay, so we're going to uh, start putting some, uh, some of our wicks in these jars. So we're going to be using the 4-ounce um, jelly jar. Um, we use a 4-ounce jelly jar, an 8-ounce jelly jar, and then I use a 16-ounce kilo jar. That's three of our stock sizes that we use on a day, on a you know, everyday basis. So, um, so we're going to be doing a few of each. So I'm just going to be taking some of these four ounce jelly jars out. I'm going to add some wicks to them. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I'll just take the rest out of the box here. Now we also sell these, you know, we sell these by the case on our website. So you can buy them by the each or you can buy them by the case. This is how they'll, they'll come. Um, so while I'm doing this, so these, basically these wicks, um, that I'm going to put in here in the four ounce, I use the same wick on the four ounce and on the eight ounce. It's a cotton core 443218 that we're going to use on these four ounce and the eight ounce. And actually on the eight ounce jars, you know, it, uh, it flows perfectly on there, but the, um, the four ounce, it's a little hot for the on the four ounce, but you know, all in all, it's it's not bad. So, you know, I'm a I'm afraid I'm afraid that if I size down one wick, then it doesn't burn as well. So, um, you know, I don't know. It's all choice. So, it's kind of like I tried to I tried to size these jars up. You know, and, and it just uh, didn't work out real well. So one thing you always want to really keep on hand with you is, is some alcohol because you're gonna you're gonna need it. You're gonna use it. One thing, if these jars are dirty, things tend to not want to stick on them. So you know, stick in there. So I'll just go through it. You know, wipe them out real quick. You get some alcohol on a paper towel, it goes pretty quick. So, um, so while we're waiting for our wax to melt there, I, and I kind of keep that on so it's fairly slow. We don't need a, we don't need it to be, you know, melt really fast. One thing you do not want to do, you do not want this wax in here over like 190, 195. People don't realize, but wax is a bomb. It will explode. 
you know, people will make candles at home and they'll get it on their kitchen. You know, they'll do it on the stove and they'll check, they don't keep an eye on the temperature. It'll get too hot and it'll blow up on the stove and they get burned. And so I just want to let everybody know, you know, always wear your safety gear. Um, keep an eye on your temperatures. Don't let them get too hot. Keep an eye on the flash points on your, on your uh, fragrance oils, you know, so... Um, you don't you just definitely don't want things, you know getting too hot the flash point on our Cabernet fragrance oil is 200 uh, But I don't even let our wax get to 200 175 for me on the wax is enough. I add the fragrance oils at about one About 125 130, you know, I can add it warmer, but there's just no reason so How I uh, how I set these Oops, did I move you? So how I set these wicks is just like this. So I take the uh, take the wick. I just add some hot glue to it. Hopefully you guys can see. And I just put it right in the middle. Put it right in the middle. So So these on our these are our little uh, four ounce. We gotta do it. We gotta let them dry. We gotta cut the wicks. But um, so basically, easy way to do it. Make sure you get the hot, you know, the hot wax. So um, the high temp wax because the the um, oil does get hot. So I'll show you my trick for doing these eight ounce. I made this little stick right here and I kind of do the same thing I just put wax on the end here hope you guys can see um, I put that in the jar down in the bottom and I virtually just I just kind of tamp it down with this stick but because I cut that since I've cut the center out of there um, I'm able to set that stick right over the uh, top of the wick. I can get a good, you know, even pressure of it down. Um, I like to put enough glue that the glue also, you know, runs out around the side of, you know, you can see it on the bottom there, and it runs out on the side <clears throat> of the jar. So, My glue gun just came unglued, unplugged. So again, we're gonna. Um, so those are those wicks are a con, are a cotton core 443218. Uh, I use those for a four ounce and our eight ounce jelly jars. So for the 16 ounce canning jar, I use a 513618 for this one. So this is what this wick looks like. You know, it's the same length. I get them pre-tabbed. Um, I'm out. I'm actually going to be selling these also on our website, cwapothecary.com. But so these are pre-tabbed. They're ready to go. I just don't find it uh, cost-effective to stand here and put all these tabs on. For the cost of the wicks, it's just easier to buy them pre-tabbed. So um, again, we just do the same thing here on this on this size. I use my Put it down in the middle of the jar, use my stick. Can you guys see? I think so. And I squish it down in there. So um, I'm only gonna do a couple 16 ounce here. So I like to I like to put more together than what I'm gonna use. Because I don't like to run out of of uh, jars either when you've got a whole bunch of wax. So I do a bunch of these up, and then if I have leftovers, then I just have leftovers for next time. Anyways, I'm going to get these all done, and I'll bring it back. So while we're still working on these, uh, these jars and these wicks, this is ultimately what they're going to look like. 
So um, I glue them in there. I just use a stick. You know, you can buy the pieces of metal. Um, we do lots of them. I just so I just use a stick. It's a little bit bigger than a toothpick. It's what we use to to uh, make our candy bar bouquets with. But I'm just going to go through here and cut, you know, some some of the length of these wicks off. When you get pre-tabbed wicks, um, you know they're they're all the same length. So sometimes they're going to be a little bit longer. Sometimes they're going to be a little shorter. But <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut these off. We don't need all that length. on there okay so uh, you know our eight ounce I cut about an inch of that off those eight ounce you know it's it's kind of uh, it's a little bit too long also so so you know again Take an inch of it off. It works. Um, our our big ones, you know, it's perfect. You know, out of there. So, um, so this is how we, this is my very professional way of winding the stick. So I wind the wick around the stick, just like that. I tighten it up, and there you have it. So it just allows me to move it after we pour the wax. Um, it won't stay there very well where I think the metal tabs they actually do stay a little bit better but I don't know I've always used these call me old school whatever old ways but I've always used them I like to be able to tighten up the tighten up the sticks on them so so I'm gonna go through here and add Add sticks to all these. So here's I'll show you the I'll show you the four ounce. So I did just do the same thing with the stick. You know, whatever whatever you need. You just don't want the wick. You want the wick to be straight up through the center of the of the candle, and you want to you know when you after you pour the wax, you want to be able to manipulate it a little bit. So. You know, get whatever you need, whatever works. Um, I found these to work because we have lots of sticks for Kenny Bar bouquets, so it works for me. In fact, I don't think I've cut any more. We keep them all in a container. And so I think I've been good with that. So I'm going to get these finished, get them set up. We're going to get this wax to melt down, and then I'll be back. Hi guys. Hey, this is uh, Robert Ashby with CW Apothecary. So today we're making candles. We just got done doing a Cabernet uh, shoot. So we're now going to make some lavender. We're just going to do a small batch. I'm almost out of, I'm almost out of lavender fragrance oil. So we're just going to do a small batch. Um, I think there's about two and a half ounces in there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to get some more of that. So I've kind of gone ahead. We're going to do, I've set up my... Um, four ounce jars because we're gonna do some four ounce jars um, so I went ahead and I put the wicks in there and uh, and set it with our little pick I'll have a I'll kind of have a wick video that I'm gonna put up eventually but I just used a hot glue glued them in the bottom and used a stick um, for for four ounce we do four ounce eight ounce and 16s but I'm only gonna do um, four ounce and then our uh, clam shells today but this is our eight ounce jelly jar doesn't have any markings on it. That was our four ounce jelly jar. And this is our 16 ounce canning jar. Um, all the same lids fit on them. We use a, we use a, a stamped um, pewter lid that fits on them. So right now our, our wax is 196. That's where I like to keep it. I do not like it to get over 200. And so we've already got that melted down. Uh, I'll show you the container that I made. Um, here a few years ago it works great if you're going to just do five eight pounds of wax we're only going to do two pounds so our lavender we're going to have purple and white chips the chips are kind of old school so we're going to use two purple 
and a half of chip of white. Oh, that wasn't open. <clears throat> and so, since uh, they come in full size chips, I just got to cut them. So there's our two purple and our white. Half a chip of white, because we're just going to do two and a half, two and a quarter pounds of wax. So, um, I am going to reset this camera so you can see what I'm doing. Can you see? So here's our pot um, that I made, basically a deep fryer that I got from Walmart. Um, I cut a half inch um, ball valve in here to let the wax out. It's nice because it heats it. Here's our container. So what I like to do is I like to trim these, uh, trim these colors. It just helps them to melt a little bit easier when we get the wax in there. So I just trim them in smaller pieces. I always make sure that we uh, got alcohol handy. So I already washed the, the, the container here out with alcohol. So, so basically as we, uh, as we get moving through, I have our scale. Let me see, there you go. So because we're not going to use much wax in this, you know, um, we have to set our scale. We're going we're to get two and a quarter pounds is all we're going to, all we're going to put in. It's okay. And two and a quarter is not very much. So you can see. I basically got those chips in there. I'm just going to swirl them around. <clears throat> I can still see the, I can still see some pieces in there. So, you want those chips to be completely dissolved because if you don't, it'll leave black spots or dark spots on your, uh, in your wax when it dries. So, and that's only half a pound. So I kind of swirl around, see if I can see some of those chips. I don't. So I'm going to put some more wax in. I guess I remember this was at 195 degrees. So that's 1.6. We need to go to two and a quarter. Almost. So we are at 2.17, um, how close are we? I guess we're getting pretty close. There we go, okay. So we're just gonna take that off. We're gonna let it, we're gonna let it cool down. So we do add this fairly hot, so you know I'm gonna end up putting about two and a half ounces of fragrance in here. So 182 degrees. We gotta let that cool down, you know, 30, 30 degrees anyways. So we got our got our coloring in there. Nice color. You see it? So um, it'll be nice when it's, when it's done. So again, we're going to do some 4 ounce, some 8 ounce, and some clamshells of this lavender fragrance. And uh, it's almost all we have is about 2.5 ounces. So I will be back here shortly. Okay, so we're back. 
I've been uh, letting this cool down a little bit. So we are uh, 161, 198 on our stuff. So I still, I got, I'm gonna make, uh, I think one more batch. I think I'm gonna do a Frazier fur. So I think we'll, uh, I'll just kind of see, kind of see, you know, where we're at. Get this ready to just get some cleanup done when I get done with that. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to weigh it off here. So I need about two and a half ounces of fragrance in here. And uh, this is our lavender fragrance. We do sell these, um, our fragrance oil. We also have lavender essential oil. You know, they both smell, they both smell good. So let's see. Well, 2.7. So we were going to put in 2.5, 2.7. Good enough. And take it off of here. I'm going to stir it for a minute. I already see it trying to thicken up a little. So. We are going to get ready to go. Put in the containers. Had to switch the camera around. We're gonna get these. Uh, we're gonna get these poured. So Clean off our spoon. Hmm, that smells yummy. So, can you see this? So we're gonna uh, virtually just gonna start pouring. You can see the Cabernet we just did a little bit ago. So, You know, unless I'm doing straight batches, you know, when I'm doing these, I call these like assorted batches because, you know, I'm doing a little bit of everything in here. So unless I'm really doing straight batches, I don't know how much exactly how much to make. So I just make sure I have a lot of containers made and ready to go. Um, let's see. We could probably do, let's, let's throw one of these 16 ounce in there because I think, hopefully I have enough, come on, no, oh, just barely. So you can see, I poured just enough to, uh, to get that whole thing done. So I'm gonna to get to cleaning. So that two and a half ounce batch, I mean a two and a half pound batch. We did 16 and eight, four, four ounces and four of the uh, tart. So that'll fill our order for us anyway. Um, that we gotta get out, so. I'm going to leave the rest of the containers over there for our Fraser fur. So the Fraser fur is a new fragrance for us. 
Um, we just had the labels done. And like I said, I've always said to make sure you keep lots of paper towels, lots of alcohol. Normally I do these three, I do these three batches at a time, you know, so I can get them all done. But I wanted to, I wanted to do video for these so you guys can kind of see what we do. We just added the ability to have videos on the website. So we feed them from YouTube. So I'm going to start doing a lot more videos. We've been doing videos of our soap. So I'll start doing more candle videos. But anyway, so now we have a clean container. We'll be ready for the Fraser fur that we're going to do next. Again, if you like our videos, like, share, hit the notification, keep us going. Um, I just got done doing the lavender uh, candles here. So just so you know, we want to... You want to move these, the wicks, and set them in the middle. Because if you don't, the candle is going to burn lopsided. Okay, so that looks done. You can see this is where I was kind of telling you how these tend to set up pretty fast. So see these are already setting up and cooling down. And you can see the Cabernet we just did. I'm not going to touch them until morning. Morning time I'll come. I'll take the picks, this, the picks and everything out. But for right now, we're just going to let them set and cool down. We will start the Fraser fur, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This is Robert from CW Apothecary and uh, Clearwater Candle Company. So uh, our candles have set overnight. We uh, have we've just uh, completed our lavender. They set up so we can. We can finish them, melt down the tops, put our labels on them, get them ready to ship. We have them going out today, so um, I'll show you that process. So I don't know if you can, how much you can see here. So basically, we still have these sticks left in them, um, you know, from from last night from setting the wick. So. I like to leave about a quarter of an inch of the wick, you know, showing. So we simply just go through and cut these off. <clears throat> and then we have to heat, we have to heat the tops just because they're, you know, they'll get a little crack here and there like that there. Um, you know, the bigger the candle, so here's our eight ounce. It's got a hole in it. Here's the 16s, and I, you know, when they dry, they basically condense. But the bigger the candle, the bigger the basically the hole. So we just use a heat gun. I turn it on high. I just melt it down real quick. It doesn't it doesn't take much, you know, to fill those in. And also, it kind of just lays the top of the candles flat. So, basically just, again, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, you know. See, this one's got some bubbles on it from, from the setup. So, when you, you know, when you melt it down just a little bit, those bubbles go away and it just looks a little better. You know, if you get some spillage around the rim or the lip of it, you know, that spillage wipes down. So melts off and now this has got a little bit of a bigger hole, so it's going to take a little bit more melt, but I don't know why. I don't know if that hole comes because after we pour the candle, I move the wick uh, or if it's just because the wax itself, um, you know, compresses, maybe it expands. You know when it's when it's hot and contracts when it's when it cools down. You know I don't know. Um, I think a little bit of that does happen. So, but our 16 ounce candles always get a pretty good size hole there. So after you melt them down once or twice, they you know that hole fills in and just looks a little bit better. So there we go. So we've melted them down. Um, here's our lids. We put pewter, stamped pewter lids on all of our 
uh, four ounce, eight ounce, and 16 ounce candles. This is kind of, we call this the country collection, this size. So every fragrance we ever do, we do with this size. And so um, we just put these, these lids on the candles like so. And that's our candle. So here's our, our six piece tart. These tarts here, they are um, 2.75 ounces. So we don't have to melt them down. It's got a nice top on them already. And if you melt these in these containers, um, the container will melt. The heat gun is too hot for them. So after we get done with that, we put our labels on. So we always put, we hang these on display racks like this. It's got the hole in it. So we hang them on display racks. So we use one size label for all of our, all of our candles. It's just more cost effective to have one size label made. So um, when it hangs on the rack, it, it looks like that it hangs by this hole right here. And so by using one size label on all of our candles, it saves us printing time. I mean, these labels are printed with uh, great printers. They're waterproof. You know, we don't have to worry about them running or smudging. So, you know, we pay a little bit more to have these done, but in the long run, in long, long run, it's better. I've tried to print from my printers and it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. You don't get the high resolution um, like we get with, with these, with the printer that we use. So again, we're gonna put this label on, this candle, There we go. So that label's on. And uh, actually this order, this one here is gone out. You see the top is nice and done and it is ready to ship. So um, we'll get the rest of these done. We're gonna have to melt down these a little bit more, um, the bigger ones a little bit more just to make them look better. So, but that is our four ounce. This is our six piece tart. Here's our 16, eight and our 16. So we will uh, continue to work forward and we'll get to the next video. So if you like our videos, if you like our videos, please hit the like button, share button, uh, the bell, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna continue to produce videos on a daily basis as we make stuff. So we do a lot. Visit cwapothecary.com for updates. And uh, we'll be back. Thanks.